the 10 years we've had this business, we've never had an issue. New at 6, her restaurant was cited by Allegheny County's COVID field response team, but she says she's following all the guidelines. And we told you last week, the team goes from bar to restaurant all over the place, checking for coronavirus compliance. Channel 11's Gabriella DeLuca talked to that owner and says she's just trying to survive. Here at Fudge Farm, you can see the tables themselves aren't exactly six feet apart because they're bolted into the ground. However, the owners say that the seats are socially distanced from each other, and that should be enough. We did as much as we could to, in order to stay open and survive. Fudge Farm owner Molly Rainey put social distancing signs on her floor, a plexiglass barrier at the cash register, and even more glass around her food display. But she still got an unsatisfactory mark when the county's COVID response team inspected her restaurant. We've always been in compliance with the health department. We've never, in the 10 years we've had this business, we've never had an issue. The reason for the X, her tables are bolted into the ground and are closer than six feet from each other. Each chair, though, is far enough apart. They have to be bolted in order to stay stable, so that's why they are. So that's why we have everything seated, so you can't, you have to be six, part, six feet away. Every other table is closed. But according to state regulations, if a restaurant is self-seating, you have to clearly make the six feet distance visible to customers by using something like signs or roping off chairs. Help us. Give us suggestions. If you're going to cite us for something, say, hey, maybe you could do it this way or this, this is wrong. Do it this way. Channel 11 reached out to the health department today who said in part, this is a process to help educate and inform food establishments of the requirements under the current health orders. What we heard from food businesses is that they wanted a process that would show the public which ones were following the rules and doing things correctly. But now Rainey's worried the unsatisfactory mark could cost her customers. I know businesses after businesses that are just closing. Um, you know, again, we're a small business. It's my husband and I. We built this from nothing. To lose it is more than just a financial disaster. It's this is our passion. This is our dream. A spokesperson from the health department said they are going out to restaurants based on complaints that are made to the department, and then they are also stopping by nearby facilities in the area. Reporting from the South Side, Gabriella DeLuca, Channel 11 News.